There's no question about that. If you don't get that now, hear me, trust me, and just believe it. There is a unique contribution each of us have to make, and we are here to be it. And here's the good news. Nothing, nothing we do will stop our contribution from being effective except not doing it. Amen. Because I look at like Michael Jackson. No amount of controversy is going to get in the way of history seeing him and his music as valuable. Because it'll just be a footnote. He may or may not have been a crazy son of a bitch. Okay, little asterisk. Yes. And no one will care. Because you know what? Crazy is as crazy does. And I've seen crazy things. I'll tell you. Crazier than dangling a baby over a balcony is someone who chooses not to be their contribution. Because sure, he dangled the baby over a balcony, but he still wrote countless pieces of music that inspired people around the world to love one another, to step up, to pay attention to what happens on this planet, to give and to receive love. So no amount of baby dangling is going to get in the way of that message. And time will prove this out. And the same goes for us as individuals. Time will prove out the value of us being our contribution. Because even if we run flailing, arms going, you know, with one hand, with one arm tied behind our back, you know, hopscotching along, as long as we're moving towards our contribution, no one's going to ask how we got there. It's true. History will not remember that you crawled through glass across the finish line of your contribution. All they're going to remember is that you were your contribution. And how many times in life do people forget that? It's not how you get here. It's where you go from here. Yep. You know, I was talking to someone just today, actually, and we were talking about how when a travel agent wants to book you somewhere, they always ask you, where are you? Because that's the only way that they know how to get you from point A to point B is to where are you starting from. Right. They never ask you, oh, well, how did you get there? Did you, ri- did you ride the bus there? Did you take a car? They don't care. It does not in any way matter how you got there. All that matters is that you're there and where you want to go from here. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really simple. And yet how many people get caught up in the how I got here? It doesn't matter. Folks, take a look at your life. If you do not like where you're standing, it doesn't matter how you got here. If you rode a crocodile, it doesn't matter. (laughs) Because I get that a lot of people get caught up in the how I got here because somehow it justifies the fact that they're there. It's like, oh, yeah. Or the time it took them to get there. Exactly. I may be here, but, oh, I had to ride that crocodile. And then there was those... Those uh, ducks with machine guns. And the pogo stick. And the, oh my gosh, don't even get me started on the pogo stick. And, and, and it's like somehow all of that labor to get to where they are makes it okay that they're where they don't want to be. Well, that's rubbish. Let go of how you got here because it doesn't matter. All that matters is now that you're here, where do you go from there? It really is all about this moment. Where am I right now and where, where am I intending to go? Mm-hmm. And... Let go of all the rest of the mechanics. Let go of the baby dangling over the balcony or the giving kids wine. It does At this point, it is irrelevant. And one of the things I loved about this movie was that it really treated it like it was irrelevant. Regardless of this history and this past, Michael Jackson was going to come out on stage and do a phenomenal concert. I have no doubt that it would have been amazing. Yeah, watching the, the, the computer graphics and what they were preparing to mm-hmm. do this show... This was going to be intense. Mm-hmm. And it was all about, and I, really what it was, they kept calling it his comeback. It wasn't his comeback. It was like, who? it, it was his Who Cares concert. It's like, I'm still here. Yeah. And so, I'm still sc- awesome. So if you want to come see me, then let's do this. Yeah. And screw y'all if, yep. you, if you think this is about anything else. And I love that. I love that about the movie. But I love that about Mozart's music, that people play it right now. Regardless of the type of person Mozart was, if he was a cad and, and, a, and, a, and a rotter. And well, and even a beautiful thing is, too, is even if that's who's playing it now, the cad or the rotter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I so true. I mean, the power of his music still shines through just as beautifully. It's so true. You know, I, I, lo- I'm a, I, I love playing and singing Elton John music. 
I love playing and singing John Denver music. I love any of those great songwriters. Mm -hmm. I love it because there's passion in those music. And the thing is, it's true. It does not matter to me one bit that Elton John was gay. It in no way affects the value of his music. Oh, I know. You know, Adam Lambert from American Idol, gay as the day is long. Okay, $3 bill gay. And yet, somehow, phenomenal musician anyways. Okay, great singer. But I'm amazed there's going to be people who have an issue with that, who will not purchase his album or listen to his music because he's gay. And those will be the footnote people in history. And Adam Lambert had some opposition to being homosexual. <laughs> That's, those are going to be those people. It's true. You know, I, I am not, I, I am committed to be a positive cause for change. I'm not going to be lumped in with the asterisks, the asterisks of the world. I'm not going to be giant that. Giant asterisks. Giant, huge asterisks. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be a contribution. And it won't matter how I get there. Whether it's a podcast or giving a flower to someone on the, on the street or whatever my contribution looks like, it doesn't matter. Because as long as I've done my part, by the time I cross this finish line, history will remember the contribution, not the methods with which I got there. So let go of the methods, let go of the mechanics, let go of what it took to get here and just be. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter whether you rode the bus here. All that matters is now that you're here, where are you going? So, I mean, I know that you, when we were watching this movie, were moved by it. Yeah. Because I get that on many levels, it's impressive. But when you were watching it with relation to this conversation, what, did, what came out of that for you from this Michael Jackson, this is it video? For, for me, it was just a huge amount of peace. I, I was, exactly what you said, I was able to completely separate the two. To separate the whole craziness that he experienced, which honestly, I mean, people take those few things, whatever they were and make that what he was when it truly wasn't. I mean, there were mere moments like, like a rock skipping in this vast, beautiful lake of what he was. And he was just so beautiful and tender in, in the ways that he did things, you know, and, and he was very clear on, on what he wanted things to be and sound and and even just to get the energy through in the music and it was it was great and then when one of my favorite moments was when he was correcting the the drum player guy and he's like no i want this and this and this and this and this and he's like and i'm sending you love and blessings you know and i was like it was so sweet but it gets to be this way it's so true yes and what i love is that the movie did exactly what we're talking about here and that is separating the message from the messenger Mm -hmm. It's that regardless of anything else, this is what is. Yeah. He is a, a powerful, beautiful musician who is causing transformation in this world through his voice. And the really, really cool thing was, is he didn't make it all about him. It was, it was simply, he, he says, this is my message. Change the world. Do something about it. Wake up. You're at choice. And that's really all of our message. I mean, that's, if, if that is anything we're going to take away from Michael Jackson or... Mozart or Beethoven or Mother Teresa or anyone who is remembered for causing a change it's that look it doesn't matter how you do it but do it just be your contribution moment to moment that's all that the universe asks of us and that's really the context of talk is cheap because it isn't enough to talk about it it, it, it requires movement it requires action so that's the show that's the idea behind this show and that's what we challenge the viewers and listeners to do. Stand up and be your contribution moment to moment, no matter what it takes. It's up to you. Heal your world and make it a better place. For you and for me and the entire human race. Yep. So that's our show. Take it on. Let go of the mechanics. Let go of how you got here and just be. So thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Talk is Cheap is a 16 Stone Media production. This show is hosted by Jason Beckett and co-host Melissa Barlow. All rights reserved. Copyright 2009.